Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another video all about dupes for your wardrobe for the upcoming season. These have all got a real spring summer focus. I think the last time I did a dupes video was probably probably quite in the midst of winter, so it's about time I updated you on a few very designer-inspired high street buys that will hopefully help to elevate your wardrobe and give you that luxury look for less. I'm not gonna give the whole spiel on dupes versus fakes versus designer-inspired pieces because I do that at the beginning of every dupes video, um, so you can go and watch one of the others if you would like to know my thoughts on all of that. Today, I'm just gonna be sharing with you a few pieces that I personally really love and that are very much inspired by those much higher price point designer pieces. So as always, I do have quite a lot of accessories as well as clothing pieces to share with you. So I'm gonna get started with footwear. Something that I've been wearing so much lately, and you guys probably have seen them a million times before if you're regular watchers of my videos, but it is the misguided dupes of the Valentino sandals. This was a real example of when I fell in love with the dupes so much that I then went on to buy the real deal. I then went and spent the, I think it was 600 and... £650 on the real designer Valentino sandals, but I realised that these went with so many things in my wardrobe, they were so comfortable and very versatile, they worked with so many different looks, I thought, you know what, I will get the use out of the designer items. So I went and bought the Valentinos, but I still absolutely love these. They are a neutral colour, so they go with lots of things, the chunky block heel makes them super comfortable and perfect for wearing all day long. I feel like Valentino is a brand that does get very duped very regularly, there is a website that has duped of the Rockstead handbag. I will leave some examples on the screen here and I'll leave the website link down below if you lust for that Rockstead style handbag but don't quite have the budget for it. And then also websites such as Ego Shoes where there are loads more dupes of Valentino sandals. Speaking of Ego, this is a pair of shoes from there and these are inspired by Jean Vito Rossi shoes. I do actually have a pair of Jean Vito Rossi's but I don't wear them that much because I find that my feet slips out of them because they, um, they don't have an ankle strap and my feet a little bit small for standard UK size threes. So these have got the full colour pointed toe cap and then the perspex around the edge of the toes which is what we see in a lot of the designer shoes. The perspex is actually surprisingly comfortable but I would say you do often get a little bit of condensation in the foot area. I don't think that's particularly hygienic but just don't wear them for too long, too long a periods of time. Unlike the Jambito Rossi's, these Ego ones which I think were under £30 have got a perspex strap that goes around the ankle. You might have seen these in my pictures with my beautiful Kate Spade dress. So for me, this actually makes them more wearable than my Jean Vito Rossi's. Over the past few months, Dune have been doing quite a lot of dupes as well. One of the most infamous styles is their dupe of the Valentino Rockstead sandals. The Valentino Rockstads, I would actually highly recommend buying. I find them just so comfortable and again, they go with so many things. But of course, that's not to everyone's taste or budget. So these are really good high street alternatives. I've gone for the white pair because I have got pink and metallic in the Valentinos. If you're looking for a high street pair of wedding shoes, then these I think would be absolutely fabulous. They've got the same strap detail as the Valentinos, same height heel, same pointed toe. They look very, very similar, but they are a fraction of the price. Poor Valentino, they are inspiring so many different designs, but maybe my eye is naturally drawn to them because I just absolutely love Valentino shoes. But my next dupes are from Primark. This is a pair of sandals with the same studded detail as the Valentino shoes. These I think would be fantastic if you're going to any festivals or concerts or if you're going on any summer holidays where you don't want to take anything too expensive just in case they get ruined or heaven forbid lost or stolen I think these would be a fantastic thing to take with you because they are so affordable I've taken the price sticker off but I feel like they were 9 99 which is absolutely bonkers and I think they look really really beautiful and then the trend that we've all loved to hate recently it is the ugly trainer trend now there was no way I was gonna buy the actual Balenciagas or other brands that are doing the ugly trainer a trend because I actually don't wear trainers that much other than to the gym um, and yeah it was just not a trend that I wanted to invest a load of money in so I thought I would go for the high street alternative. The most designer looking versions that I found are these from River Island. I mean if you'd have shown someone these like a year ago they'd have been like that is never going to be on trend why would anyone buy those? Well, maybe they would I don't know but I would <laughs> Personally wouldn't, but those cool girls on Instagram have made us lust for them. So yeah, I just thought these were the best high street version. They look most similar to the Balenciaga ones. They're pretty heavy, not gonna lie. This yellow stripe is giving me all kinds of crazy vibes, but to take part in the trend, I have gone for this high street pair. 
So next let's talk about bags and I found some really great dupes this time around starting off with this one from ASOS. So transparent bags as you will know if you watch my spring uh, or 2018 trends video. Transparency is a huge trend and Aspinall actually bought out a bag. Imagine this but with gold hardware around the corners and a fabulous line in the middle. Very, very similar to this other than those details and that one is around £600. This was less than a tenth of that price from ASOS. Obviously you don't get those design details but if you did just want to take part in the Perspex bag trend then this would be a great one for that. A brand that we've seen all over our Instagram feeds lately is Shrimps and they have some really lovely textured bags that this bag from Topshop very much reminded me of. This one is made up of loads of different beads but it's really effective in that the bag is pretty much all beaded, it gives a very similar effect to the shrimps bag. I think this would be a great one worn as a wedding guest bag. It is fairly heavy and you probably have to be quite careful what you pop in it because it could get a little bit out of shape but if you want that shrimps look for a whole lot less then this one was £29. It's unsurprising with a bag as iconic as the Cult Gaia Half Moon bag that there are going to be loads of high street dupes. Two of my favourites are these two. Now this one is from ASOS. I'm not a huge huge fan of the colour but but shape-wise this is pretty much identical to the Cult Gaia bags and this was, um, I'm trying to see the price tag, but I think it was around the £20 mark. However, I actually prefer this bag. This one is from Topshop and it was £32. Now this one I actually prefer to the Cult Gaia one. I think the shape is a little bit more practical. It does come with the shoulder strap, but the shoulder strap is removable with these little um, press studs, which is very, very handy. So you can wear it crossbody or just handheld. And then, unlike the Cult Guy, it also comes with a liner. With the designer version of the bag, you can just see everything that's inside. If you have any credit cards or a slim phone, it could very easily slip through the holes in the wood, but not with this one. Everything is safe in the lining. So well done Topshop. I think they've done really well at being inspired by those very popular designer designs, but without outright copying them, whereas this is pretty much identical. Speaking of Topshop, another bag that I saw in there recently that I thought was absolutely beautiful is this one and it has very similar shape and design details to the Gucci Dionysus bag which I have and I absolutely adore. This was £32 and whether you care that it's designer inspired or not I think this is a really really lovely handbag. It's a great size if you use an iPad and it would definitely fit a large iPad in here as well as all of your other essentials. It does have a chain shoulder strap inside or you could just wear it like a clutch bag, quite a big clutch bag. But as you can imagine, it is the colour that I absolutely adore about this one. Like the Gucci Dionysus, it has a few different textures. You've got this leather effect, then you've got some studs, you've got some suede up here as well. And because it is this type of structure, it would expand a little bit, meaning you can pack it full of all of your daily essentials. So a really, really beautiful bag that is a little bit designer inspired from Topshop. This one is very much inspired by the Chloe... I think it is still called the Chloe Pixie Bag, but the big version. Um, and this is from Dune. This, I believe, was just under £90, so not super affordable, but really, really lovely. On this side, you've got a suede detail, and then on the back, it is pure leather. I kind of like this side the best, but the fact that it's got Dune written there kind of ruins the illusion that you're going for the whole Chloe look. But this big ring is a design detail that we see in so many Chloe bags, the Nile bracelet bag, the Pixie bags, and it is a design detail that this bag has as well. And it does have these little hooks here so you can wear it cross shoulder with a overbody strap as well but I think it's quite cute just to carry it by these little gold handles. And finally within the bag section and this is probably my favourite dupe of the entire video you guys will not be surprised to hear that it is from Artisan Anything. This website I just adore for their amazing quality leather bags and this is just the most fabulous dupe for the Chloe Faye day bag. I think this is gorgeous. I came very close to actually buying the Chloe Faye day bag myself and I thought I'm going to get this one just to see how much I wear it, how well it goes in my wardrobe and I can confirm that it really really does. This one is of such good quality though that I think I'm not going to get the Chloe one because this does the job absolutely perfectly. When I first posted this on Instagram so many of you thought that it was the Chloe Faye. It is slightly different in size. The Chloe Faye comes in a size a little bit smaller and a size a little bit bigger but this size I find really really practical. It's got the little magnetic um, clasp here, then inside you've got a zippy pocket, two main sections and an envelope pocket as well. As I mentioned, have the crossbody strap and on the back of the bag you also have a little envelope pocket which is great for your oyster cards, your tickets, things like that. 
So yeah, absolutely love this and highly recommend picking up anything from that website. Next up, I have to share with you this amazing swimsuit. So you guys may have spotted on my Instagram stories that I found an incredible dupe for the Larabesh swimming costumes. Larabesh is a brand, I think they're Italian, um, but you've seen their swimming costumes all over Instagram. In fact, I do have one which they very kindly sent me with the two different floral straps, but I actually prefer this one, which was around half the price and it is from Calcedonia. It has the floral petal detail around one shoulder and it's just more structured. It's got almost like a sport bra effect inside so you feel very supported. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and so, so effective. If this is still a little bit out of your price points, because I think this one is around £90, then I also shared a lot on my Instagram stories, an incredible high street dupe from Pretty Little Thing. I'll insert a photo of it here. This I think is under £30, so really affordable. I'll leave that one linked down below as well. It comes in white and in black, and I would recommend sizing up with these swimming costumes. So slogan hats always come into fashion at this time of year, and this time round, my favourite I don't know if you can still call it a dupe, but it was originally a designer called Eugenie Kim that did them and they were really expensive. This one is £25 from Jules and I think it's probably my favourite one on the high street at the moment. It just says, hello sunshine, it's a great shape, clear writing, um, it's good quality, so that would be my top choice for the designer sun hat dupe on the high street at the moment. And then we have a trend that I would never have spent the money on the designer version, but when I saw this high street version of the clear raincoat trend, I just thought, you know what, I cannot resist it, and I have come to really, really love this coat. So it is Chanel and Dior that have clear raincoats, probably some other designers as well. The Chanel one I actually tried on, just as a bit of a cruel joke to myself, and it was £1,700. This one was under £50 from Topshop. The first first time I wore this, a very stylish man in the street actually stopped me and he said, oh my god, I love your Dior coat, and I span around on my heels and triumphantly told him it was £40 from Topshop, and he was absolutely shocked, but that shows that this just looks amazing. I've actually worn it a lot, I feel like recently we've had a lot of these drizzly days, and it's absolutely perfect for that. I love that you can see your outfit underneath when you're wearing it, um, it's just great fun, a real statement piece, and so much cheaper obviously than the designer ones, and yet the quality I think is fabulous. Topshop never do poor quality items and yeah I've just really really enjoyed wearing this one. Okay some clothing pieces. I recently picked up this from Topshop because funnily enough this is pretty much identical to my Karen Millen dress. I will insert a video clip of my Karen Millen dress here. You guys absolutely adore this dress when I first wore it on my Instagram. You were so curious to know where it was from but I appreciate that the price point of Karen Millen things is not to everybody's taste. So when I saw this one from Topshop, I thought I have to get that to show it as a similar and more affordable alternative. The Karen Millen has a higher neckline, this one has more of a crossover V shape, but other than that, it's really not that different. It's the same kind of broderie anglaise style material, you've got the waistband, you've got the little shorts, which also have the frill at the bottom, and this is just a perfect little play suit for summer, so I thought I would mention that one within the video. And then you may remember, if you saw my Zara haul, this fabulous combination of top and I also have the trousers and the skirt from this pattern which I think are incredible dupes for Zimmerman. Zimmerman is a brand that I absolutely love, I adore the style of the dresses but they are very expensive so when I saw this collection in Zara I thought I absolutely have to give that a go and I've been wearing the pieces together or separately and I think they look so so expensive so if you haven't nipped into Zara lately definitely check it out and if you haven't seen my Zara haul I'll leave that linked up on the screen and also down below so check check that out to see what else I picked up because it's amazing at the moment. And then lastly we have this adorable little top from Topshop which again I think is a great dupe for Zimmerman. This looks a lot better on than it does on the hanger so again I'll insert an overlay clip of me wearing it here but this is £22. It has so many design details that are similar to Zimmerman what with the ladder detail, the ruffle, the crossover. I just think this is such a beautiful top and I had it in my wardrobe for quite a long time before wearing it and now I'm gutted I didn't get even more wear out of it but as we move into summer this is something that I'm going 
going to be reaching for a lot and it most definitely has those Zimmerman vibes about it so I thought I would also just throw this one in for good measure. Alright so that is everything that I found recently on the high street that is a dupe of those fabulous designer pieces. I really hope you enjoyed looking through my selections. If you guys have found any amazing dupes then let me know, share them in the comment section down below so that I can shop them and everyone watching this video can shop them as well and if you have any like go-to websites that you think are really great for dupes and also let me know what they are and I will keep my eyes on them for you but that is everything from me so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this type of video then please give it a thumbs up so that I know to do more of these for you and thumbs up if you just enjoyed it in general if you haven't already then please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell and another little note uh, side notice is that if you didn't see my little mini announcement in Wednesday's video or in my vlog my presets that I use to edit my photos on Instagram here's a little before and after using my presets they are now available to use on the free Lightroom mobile phone app so I'll leave all the information for those down below so if you want to up your Instagram game then this is a very affordable and easy way to do so. 